This is the fourth and final video in this playlist. This is where you'll see this tomato being painted with the color that we mixed shown in the earlier videos. Although you can watch this video by itself, but you will get more out of it if you watch the other videos from this playlist. Hello, I'm Faisal and welcome to my channel. For more videos on how to do oil painting, make sure you have subscribed to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. So I am starting out with uh, laying out the outline. As you can see, I'm not trying to be precise. It's just uh, out guidance. Uh, essentially the lines are just being placed to to get an idea of where things are going to go they are not meant to be perfect and I don't want you to make it perfect and here's the background being laid out and this is the vertical background and the whole idea behind putting the background is to make sure that we can gauge our colors uh, in the tomato properly and here I am placing the color for the base where I have placed the tomato and now I am putting the shadow and as you can see I have put the wrong color wrong value so I wanted the darker value and here it is and now with the dark value of the tomato I am putting the dark side and then um, I've noticed that the dark side uh, this I, this step could have been done in the in the end but uh, I'm a creature of habit and therefore I did the colors I tweaked the dark side before uh, the end so but that's okay so I've divvied up the dark side and I'm putting the dark within the dark and light within the dark right now as you can see the three colors and now I'm putting the middle value and now the light value you could have done the dark in the now is when I should have done the dark split the dark into three but that's okay and here's the light side so the highest chroma is in the middle value and the light value the border of that and so that's where I'm putting the highest chroma uh, and the middle value is, is high chroma too in this case but it's high in value it's darker in value than the dark side so here I am tweaking the putting the high chroma in the dark side and as you can see um, I'm going back and touching up the dark value uh, to make sure uh, what I'm seeing is what I am adjusting and here I am tweaking the light side so I'm going back and forth and like I said earlier you know it's not a linear process and I am fixing the edge over here uh, bringing the background close to the edge removing the white space essentially and once again I am adjusting the light side what I'm seeing on the tomato is what I'm doing here adjusting it and also the whole idea is to get rid of the borders border between the middle and the light so I'm doing that also over here uh, so I'm adding color and also getting rid of the edge uh, so that you know it bends smoothly from light to middle and then I'm touching up the shadow the base is slightly more darker so I'm tweaking that 
so the shadow is darkest at the base of the tomato and then i'm going back and fixing the dark side as you can see i felt like it wasn't round enough so i went back and marked it up and point painted the bottom and now i'm doing the stem and the leaf on the tomato again the whole idea is you know put the dark side and then the light side and the middle value in between since this is a very thin and slim uh, area you know there's not much room to play with uh, so i am putting the uh, you know the dark and the light and then wherever i can i have put the middle value and so there's no fixed rule as far as the order in which it should be placed so dark light and middle is what is being done here as well and uh, i'm going back and retweaking the tomato so remember it is a back and forth process um, you have to go back and tweak the light area and tweak the middle area and tweak the dark area based on what you're observing so now i'm mixing the color for the uh, the reflection on the tomato the white table reflection of the base on the tomato that i created from the dark value and added white to it and then i'm adjusting and once again i'm going to reemphasize it's not a linear process you try you fail or you know you put down the color it doesn't look good you go back and adjust based on what you are seeing and the picture that i've given you you should be able to tweak things based on that so this is on the other side i felt it was slightly yellowish it was not white white uh, it wasn't uh, it was leaning let me put it this way it was leaning more towards uh, orangish so i've adjusted it to that and here i am going back based on what i'm seeing i'm adjusting the stem again so you know it's a non linear process tweaking adjusting as you can see i'm going back i'm not satisfied with the highlight and it's hard sometimes to put paint over paint uh, so if you are new to this uh, it wouldn't hurt if you wait one day after you have come to this point uh, you know wait one day put your paint in uh, in the fridge or something if you are or bring it indoors so that it doesn't dry up um, and another thing that i'll show you is you can add just a dab of clove oil to uh, lighten uh, to to uh, to to make the colors last long without drying on your palette i'll show you uh, uh, another small video on that on how to do that uh, so i'm going back and forth adjusting and stuff i just mixed the colors for the highlight and here i am placing the value and i'm putting it down lightly at first and then i'm putting the the in the right in the center i'm putting a very big blob of white so there's a light placement of color and then there's a strong placement of color and then i take a, a dry brush a soft dry brush and here i am blending the edges and here you have it uh, the tomato if you found this video helpful and want to see more videos like this do click that subscribe button also don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified of new videos and also click that like button it'll help my channel grow thank you for watching